So we've got the wrist resized and over here we have everything. I'm gonna stick it into the car boot right now. I need to check that everything got resized first because I don't wanna do this mission again. Alhamdulillah, we got the product sorted. Uh -huh. That's no problem. I'll organize it during the week. Is that okay? And would you guys like to see the stock also? I will contact you through messages to confirm on Thursday. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, that's perfect. We are now communicating with shipping companies that I've communicated with two months ago or a month ago, but I kind of ignored because the reason I was like, let's go back to Ireland. And I was like, yeah, let's go back to Ireland. And, and then I just ignored everyone. And now they're trying to like change the prices that I already negotiated with them, you know? And it's funny because I was on the phone to FedEx and then I got another call and it was Ups. And then Louise answered the call and started talking to Ups. And then Ups said, I was already talking to you guys. Is Ahmed Boisir there? And then I kind of took the phone and I was like, yeah, I said, uh, what story? He's all right. And then I started explaining to her why I was ignoring her and I apologize. So like to register a company, you have to have an office space rented. It's a co-working space pretty much. But for you to be able to book it, you need to let the co-working spot know that, okay, I'm coming down to take this slot from this time to this time. Is that okay? Listen, Louise is saying, because Amanda started to climb on things. And earlier on, we caught her climbing in that, inside. Look, you can see that's on the floor. It's obviously hazardous, but... I like it. Yeah, you might like it. Look, and yeah, like that as well. And she's trying to get rid of both of them. She's trying to get rid of both of them. And they all go with the decor. Like, look, we have a mirror there that's gold. We have this thing that's gold. You designed it nice. I know. But you I know? Like, I like my daughter. I like my daughter, Ahmed. You like your daughter? Yes, look, she, next month she's going to be pulling herself up onto that climb like that. The thing falls true. Shh. It's a glass. Ahmed, you're a type of person that usually thinks ahead as well, okay? You think of all the scenarios. This is the scenario I'm thinking. I know, I'm thinking, I, I understand that scenario can happen. I understand that scenario can happen. But I really, really like, I like this decor. Now imagine this, now imagine this wasn't glass and she climbs on top of it. Okay, what's she gonna get? She's gonna get a fall. If she gets on that, and then what, glass and a fall? That's, that's what's going through my head. I really like that though. So I, I really, really like that. I like and and I, th I thought you were just trying to get rid of the coffee table. Not the whole TV stand as well. What if we change the glass? What if we change the glass with plastic? What if what if we change the glass with plastic? Can you do that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit stupid. No, you get clear plastic, you get acrylic, you get a cut. Yeah, you can do it. You can find that. You can do it. So you like your daughter more than you like the TV stand, huh? We were just about to package and obviously the aircon started leaking. And I just heard dush, dush, dush. And I'm like, what is it? I didn't understand what the noise was. It was dripping on Amanda's tires. Oh my God. What are you doing? Out in there. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not even going to lie. We recently got, got silverfish and I was not understanding where they were coming from, what was going on. Like, why do we have them? It's because there's literally dampness because of that. Now, I went and got cedar oil and squirting it everywhere. Like, I actually hate them. They're so vile. They're little ugh, hoovering all the corners all the time, trying to get rid of them. But they've been here and they don't want to leave. And it's because obviously with dampness that I need to buy hum humid humidifiers. Humidifiers. And shot and they leave. But now that's just dripping. And Ahmed said it's like a bat in there. That's like their favorite habitato habitatable. I'm so tired. Their favorite place to live in. Damp, humid dampness they love it they thrive off it and they're gonna all climb out there in their big tribes and not leave us alone it's cussing you give me anxiety i feel like they're all gonna shoot out. <gasps> oh my god you give me heart attack why he gave heart jump i think i can fix that myself you know what? that's what i was asking yeah do you think you can do that me and louise are actually the two funniest people ever <laughs> oh. we're just here yeah a man is asleep yeah and do you know what we're doing we're opening up every single abaya yeah? and cutting the smallest loose threads. Like, look, like this is a thread. This right here is a thread that I cut off. <laughs> like, we're going through abaya by abaya. Because why? Or just these ones, but they're just on the inside. They're not on the outside. Let me show you. It's on the inside. Like, it's not on the outside. Like, I don't, like, I get clothes from H&M or, or Zara and it has threads on and I have to cut it off. Like, what are we doing? Like, but it's funny. It's funny. Like, it's like we're doing everything but selling the abayas. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I feel like after we cut all the loose threads, we're gonna find something new that we wanna do. <laughs> and then we're gonna do it. 
and then there's gonna be something new and it's just it's a never and no one we need to stop trying to perfect our first drop <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're just enjoying doing all this stuff it's like we're giving ourselves new tasks yeah but why like we need to go into the next cafe at lunch like you know we haven't even lunched at the first one <laughs> <laughs> me and Louise are just sitting there, yeah, as we're cutting off, like I was cutting off the smallest threads and Louise was cutting off the smallest threads and we just looked at each other and we just start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing everything but sell the abayas, like we have abaya business, doing everything but selling abayas. Swear to God, we need to like... Uh, <laughs> but you know what, we're enjoying the process. Let me say something, because we have to open all of these by night. <laughs> There's so many avails that I need to go through, but we are gonna do it anyway. So, but we're gonna do it fast, inshallah. If we go through one collection a day, we'll be finished. Not collection, one design a day will be finished in four days, inshallah. We are literally repackaging everything. They are going out of these bags, everything's getting repackaged, and they're going into these bags right here. And we decided that it would be very long to cut every single hang tag. We have 7,000 of these actually. And what's funny about it is, it says Alamana, but when you open it, it says, your body is a Amana. And it should say, look body. after it. It should say your body is an Amana. Yeah, and it should say your body is an Amana. There's a touch of dyslexia with every single Abaya you got. Do you get me? Because that was actually my mistake. <laughs> That's how I spelt it, but I should have spoke to Louisa and then got a thing. I am on my way to sign a contract with Ups. I have a meeting at the office. Man, just look mad smart, bro. Louisa always said, oh, I don't have any clothes that look smart. Here you go, Louisa. At the office. <laughs> the view of the mosque right there. What do you think of the quality of this one? Yeah, it's very quality. Yeah, very good quality. Yeah. <laughs> these are lighter for summer, you know? The, the plan was to actually drop these before summer, but then we had a few complications with setting up the company and stuff like that, you know? How we can help you uh, for your export ship, your target country, which? Uh, European countries. So our main audience is United Europe. Kingdom, uh -huh. Europe, United Kingdom, Germany. We also do have followers from United States and stuff like that, you know, customer bases that are in the United States. So most, mostly we will be exporting. Uh, United States, UK is very strong. Uh... Yeah, this is one of the reasons that obviously if the rates are correct and we get good rates, we, uh, I won't lie to you, we're currently in discussions with FedEx also and DHL, mm -hmm. but we feel more aligned with UPS because UPS is a, is a, is a, is a company I know in Ireland, mm -hmm. which is a very, very strong company. And that's a company that I would like to use for my customer base where logistics are very good, customer service is very good because it's it, it, the brand is not only about the quality of the products where the quality is good, but it's also about delivery. So like for example, if we use PTT for example, where in Ireland we also use OnPost, which sometimes you have difficulties with, when you use National Post, you have difficulties with packages going missing, uh, you know, communication issues. This and that so this is what the reason that we want to really work with ups if the pricing is correct because the pricing will reflect also on our customer base yeah. you know and we want to be able to give best experience best prices yeah. you know with the best product mm -hmm. so th that's why we wanted to reach out with ups and move forward with ups and open an account with ups to start uh, exporting you know uh, today firstly you uh, write to me an uh, email address yes uh, today i wanna send uh, our export price import price list uh, after you're calculated uh, if you approve it uh, we have uh, started uh, our contract uh, after contract uh, you have a my UPS account. After that, you can start, start exporting. exporting. Uh, another thing is, so for example, returns. Mm -hmm. I know some, some logistics companies, they offer when it comes to returns. For example, if I sell something, the customer is not happy with the product. Do you guys have a service where we are able to provide the customer with a label mm -hmm. where they are able to return the product to us here in Turkey? Return product is a problem. Or is it a bit uh, more complicated? Uh, very complicated because of Turkey's customs process uh, for all uh, companies return problem. Are the prices negotiable? Negotiable. Negotiable. Negotiation. Are the prices negotiable? <laughs> no problem. Huh. My price is, is minimum price. price. Minimum. Okay. Okay. But your company have a. Uh, 
50th package per day. Okay. Yeah, it's very uh, big potential. After that, uh, we are negotiating. Okay, so when I reach 50 packages per day, then we can renegotiate. 50. 50. Uh -huh. Five. Zero. <laughs> yeah, 50. <laughs> Five zero. When we reach 50 packages per day, we're able to renegotiate the prices. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Time to ring Louisa. To let her know how I'm going. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> me and went very, very well. Alhamdulillah. We didn't sit on our ones. It wasn't like me and her on our ones. There's another two fellas. It's like a co working space, so you're able to sit with people, and there's other people in Jigami in the vicinity. So, alhamdulillah, you know, went very well. I spilled out of me, man. The oil waffled. What's she saying? She really, really liked the product. She said the quality, oh, really? she said the quality is so good and all. No the first thing she took out, the first, the first one she took out was the Louisa Abbey and she's like, oh, the quality is really good. And then I wasn't recording, so I put the phone back down and I whipped out the phone. I'm, I'm recording right now, by the way. I whipped out the phone and recorded and I asked her again. I was like, oh, you like the quality? And she said, yeah, I like the quality. Do you get me? Yeah. But it, was, it was so nice getting someone's opinion that is not related to us. Or, do you get me? I was like, first thing she done was like, oh, the quality is so good. And you know, when you get that opinion of someone, it's like, it's nice. Thank you very much. All good. All good. Thank you. Thank you. Again, lad. It's Gaz just jumped in a taxi. I use Louise's account. So whenever I jump into the taxi, the taxi driver says to me, Louisa. And I say, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Shout out, Louisa, though. Real good fam. So I have the contracts here from FedEx, UPS, and uh, DHL. 6 a.m. in the morning. And I just finished repackaging all of that. Oh, bro, I am tired, man. So tired, bro. And then I'm probably not going to sleep either because I have people coming at 11 tomorrow to help us do more repackaging. But alhamdulillah, it's all going good. You know, inshallah, it's all worth it at the end. I don't know, Amanda, when I wake up, she's going to wake me up because she wakes up at 7. I'm going to sleep now from 6 till 7 and then Amanda's going to start climbing on me. It's all worth it, inshallah, it's all worth it, man. Alhamdulillah, one of you guys just came over to buy Abaya for your graduation. And we put a box of chocolates. So congratulations on your graduation. She's getting the Zahra Abaya. And here's the Zahra Abaya. Alhamdulillah. Slow but steady steps. Alhamdulillah for everything, you know. We are trying to get everything ready in the next hour and a half. So we can catch a flight at 2 o'clock in the morning because Izmina sent Louisa videos and Allahu Alam, you know, we don't know if she's going to make it in the next two days and we want to come while she's there rather than come when La Qadar Allah she passes away We are on our way to the airport, we don't have a flight booked but we know there's a flight at 2 o'clock in the morning so we're going to speak to them, see what the situation is Inshallah try board that flight and try get our flight changed if not there's another flight at 5 a.m. Inshallah we go on to uh, everything is very frantic this is not how I wish to go to Algeria, you know I don't even know if I packed the right thing me and Louisa were just so like you know inshallah khair man alhamdulillah for everything to Allah has willed may Allah give Louisa and grandmother quick she fell bro we were gonna go on Wednesday we never know if she's gonna reach to Wednesday so we're just trying to get the quickest and the closest flight possible tire is nearly flat but we don't rush them we say bismillah to akilla Allah it is now 10 past 12 the flight is at 2 10 we don't actually have the flight even booked but we know there's another flight at 5 a.m inshallah in these moments the most important thing is to just be tranquil sometimes i do panic i won't lie to you i do panic get flustered i get annoyed when i do do that that affects me personally affects my wife affects my daughter affects whoever is around me it may affect even the taxi driver's day if i just put everything in allah's hands and i just accept what allah has willed for me khalas if I fail my exams, alhamdulillah. If al amana we don't sell nothing, alhamdulillah. And always expect the least. When the worst does happen, you're not surprised. You're not like, ah, oh, why Allah? Why me? But also the Prophet does say, this is uh, contradictive. The Prophet does say, Tafa'alu khayran tajidu. To think good, you'll find it. But I don't know, me personally, since I was younger, I always thought the worst. So when the worst does happen, I'm prepared for it. I wish for the best, but I prepare for the worst. So there's five more minutes for the for changing the flight. So alhamdulillah, we made it five minutes and he's going to change our flight now. And we have one one hour to get through the gate. Inshallah, no problems. Business class. Well, it's like 50 quid each. 
Yeah, it's paying, man. If not, we'll just get the little later one. And no, the le later one, anyways, was 140 extra. So, we might so as well, well just, upgrade to yeah. business class. All I know is I'm hungry. Oh, but, yeah, all I had is sandwiches. Oh, man, I had just sandwiches as well. I'm a bit of pizzas, leftover pizzas. I didn't have one. We haven't been sleeping, we haven't been anything. Oh, I forgot to put the old on. I'm gonna stink I as have, well. I have hair cream, but you obviously can't I don't want hair. hair cream. End up, alhamdulillah, getting a flight on business class. I guess it's the first time for everything, Louisa. Yeah. <laughs> and we had eight minutes only to check in, five minutes to change our flight. What a risk. Alhamdulillah, that's been eventful. But subhanAllah, it's obviously qadrullah, we're really meant to be here, inshallah. And I'm just so tired, but alhamdulillah, that we made the earlier one. Me and Louisa just decided to go on a quick jog because, you know, couples that train together. I'm not joking. We're trying to make our gate. Our flight is boarding. When we checked in, our flight was still boarding. The gate's 10 to 15 minutes away. Walk. So we need to run. And Amana is awake. She hasn't slept one single bit. We have reclining seats. And two used to Ryanair. It's my leg room. Right here we have an Algerian national drink called Selikto. This is the only fizzy drink that I will choose to drink. <laughs> oh my god. Alhamdulillah, we just landed in Algeria. The air smells different. They definitely do things different as well. They're smoking in the airports. Algeria is nice, man. Look at that, bro. Bro, this is the airport, man. Allahumma barik. Pop are nice. Bro, I feel like I'm in Spain or something, bro. I was comparing it to Libya, but you know what? This airport shits on Benghazi airport. I just walked into a coffee place, got myself a little espresso, I went to pay my man, and my man said to me, listen mate, you don't have to pay, why Jack I leave? Like, I like your face. Subhanallah, bro. I kept insisting, but he was like, listen, next time you come, just pay for it. Mad, 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 mad. A third day in Algeria, it's today. Louisa left her bag in a taxi. And look, you open the bag, $100. You open here, wedding ring, a gold necklace. Nothing was touched. He could have opened the bag and kept the money for himself and said, oh, the money's not in the bag. And this is not the first time. I also dropped my phone in a taxi. The taxi is like, he came back and he gave me my phone. Nice people, bro. First Juma in Algeria. What do you think? Fresh, man. Thanks, Salam. This is Hamoud. Hamoud's the one that made this in Senegal, isn't it? Yeah. You can't come to Algeria without trying this drink right here. This is like pizza with no cheese. Yes. This one has tuna on it, yeah? Yeah. We're on our way to the beach, yeah? And I'm gonna have to drop in this whole coffee on Ali. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm Ali took me to a place called Hipaza. We got jet skis, showed me Algeria, Allahumma barik, it's very beautiful. And Louisa, we left her. We left her for dead. Yes. How do you feel you got left for dead? I feel like it's nice. Ahmed's getting to experience Algeria. Yeah, and my brother in law is looking after me, you get yeah. me? Actually. Huh? Actually, I'm here. We are now near the center. We're eating some traditional barbecue food. Bismillah. Very nice. Clean, Allah, better. This is called bean. Bean, you want Jam, don't. You can get it with chocolate or you can get it with jam. This is a traditional Algerian thing that you eat on the beach. Bro, what's in the middle of it, bro? There's nothing in this. Jam, bro. It's just a bit lacking. This is a bit stingy with it. <laughs> Depends, I've just been going around Algeria. Louise has just been chilling with her family, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie. But I've been going down to the family house every night. She just wants me to have a perception about Algeria as like, oh, just in the house, in the house, in the house. So she's like me, go out, go out, go out, enjoy yourself. And then every night, inshallah, I go down. And Allahumma barik, her grandmother loves her so much. Her grandmother said that Louisa is her favorite. Uh, I wish I got it on video. And then she said that Louisa gave birth to a Louisa because Amanda looks like Louisa, subhanAllah. Algeria is very beautiful. Highly recommend. And unfortunately, it's not talked about. Allahumma barik. It beat my expectations. Today is the day of Arafah. And I was told that these are actually an Algerian chocolate. And they're meant to be very nice. So after we break our fast, man's hungry, bro. But you know when you're, you're fasting, everything just looks nice. Are you hungry, yeah? I'm hungry. I ate literally one meal yesterday. I even have sahur, bro. Come, it's just one day. It's not like you're going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it's I know. It's a quick little day and then you're back eating. It's over. I'm helping Louise a cook. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just got up right now. Bro. I literally just chopped up a lot of curry and I've uh, been cooking with Louise. Allah, very. Thank you all for watching. Inshallah, the next vlog will be in Qasba and uh, we'll go from there, Inshallah. Don't forget to smash the like button. What did you say? I didn't pretend to cook a cook to you.
I just made the star. I just made the star, Chairman. Don't be, don't be unappreciative. Come on, man.